guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today I have a wax haul to share with you and it is a wax haul from rainbow melts you probably saw that in the title but I thought I'd just tell you anyway before going any further I have nothing on my lips and nothing on my nails I literally just came home from work I'm desperately trying to film this and one other video before all the light is gone because we lose sunlight by like 4 40 in the afternoon so anyway with that being said, we are gonna crack into this. These are two of her mystery sampler packages. I ordered two of these on her website when I saw them come available. Um, Rainbow Melts, you'll, I'll put all the information down below so you guys can go check them out, but it is one of my top vendors. I'm so excited to see what kind of mystery type wax scents we get and shapes as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much stuff in here. <gasps> I'm so excited. You guys, I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to get some of these creepy crawlies out of the way so I could uh, show you just what I have here. Yeah, I'm already seeing some of my absolute favorites on the top, and let's just get right into this. Again, it is two mystery bags that I got combined into this one order. I've never tried this one. It says Nor it's called North Dakota White Lady Lane White Clouds Pink Sugar and Vanilla Lace. That sounds really good. <laughs> like really really good oh i like this one it reminds me of a twist on like a pink laundry scent mm, this will go really really well either in the bedroom or in the bathroom a huge piece that i can definitely chop up a couple different uh sizes and get a few melts out of this warm sweater this is warm vanilla sugar brown sugar fig and clean cotton and i guess these are like more of the halloween because of the shapes they were very like skull like and all that fun stuff and let me see here oh this is a scary guy Mm. the clean cotton th totally throws me for a loop on this one warm vanilla sugar brown sugar fig but it's the clean cotton i actually get right away wow no scary guy <laughs> but i'm very surprised um i can't wait to melt this i was confused i was thinking oh i'll melt this throughout the living room but because the clean cotton is so strong i might actually split this up and into a few different pieces and use them out in our bathroom because that's where I used to usually melt like cotton or really fruity scents. One of my absolute favorites, and this is also one of Crystal's original OG blends, as well as one of her customer sampler favorites, the Red Nose, the Tart Cranberry and Glowing Ginger Ale. There are so many melts in here of different shapes and sizes, and this is such a great scent, you guys. <sighs> Vendors out there near and far, please do more tart scents because they're just so good i know that's probably really hard to find it's a very weird uh request but i love tart scents and cranberries are beautifully tart but with this ginger ale is just amazing the first melt i showed you was dakota this one's south carolina this is a death of julia league lavender uh charcoal tonka charcoal tonka and vanilla b noel so i'm wondering if there's a theme that i missed something like states were done, like each state had their own scent. Hmm. Oh, it's a cute little owl. Hmm. Oh. Wow, that's very cool. I would probably put that in the bathroom though. Um, the, well, bathroom or the bedroom because the lavender, the lavender is quite strong on this one. I don't know what Death of Julia League is, but, but yeah, it's very good. Or to giving this a try. Then we have Wizard, which is Sweater Weather, Cranberry, and Ozark Forest. And they're in the same shapes as those like crazy face I showed you at the very beginning. Ooh, Let's see if I can, sorry. Um, definitely get Sweater Weather. I don't get Cranberry. I definitely get a foresty like pine or more of a pine or balsam type scent. Um, rather than a cedar, but I that's really cool. Um, this one has me puzzled. Another favorite of crystals. This is zombie juice. This is honey pear cider. Anytime I see pear, I always think of Susan. Susan Fitzpatrick, and we our love of pear between the two of us. This is a huge melt, by the way. Like this is ginormous. You can get probably four really good melts out of this. Make it make it more depending on how big you want to cut. This is really nice. I'm not uh, into honey uh, so much in wax, but that pear is what stands out. And that to me is all that matters. I am excited about 
zombie juice, which I know is also one of her most popular scents as well. Hibernation, ooh, it sounds a little bit cold. Crackling birch, marshmallow, cashmere cotton, and vanilla bean Noel. These are scents I've never tried. Uh, most of these I've never tried. Ooh, I like this one. Mmm, I do enjoy this one here. It's got definitely a fresh note to it. Hmm. I think I get mostly the cashmere cotton and a little bit of the birch and a little bit on the marshmallow, the, the original marshmallow. I don't know about vanilla bean Noel. I don't necessarily get that right off the bat. So many in here, you guys. Duncan pumpkin. Love it. <laughs> this is pumpkin cider donuts, pumpkin caramel latte, and whipped cream. I've actually had this one before and it's delightful. I'm not going to show you every shape. It's a pumpkin. And, um, Oh, this one's definitely got like um, the latte note. It's almost got like a, hmm, not pie crust, but there is a gourmandness to this. Um, the donuts, I'm gonna say there's a carbohydrate in there for sure. And then the latte and then the caramel. And it's just really good. This Dunkin' Pumpkin, yes. And I've had it before, so yeah i got another red nose i may have repeats in here because i ordered two so they might be some of the same some of the not same don't fall asleep strong coffee and pumpkin cupcake i've had this before as well crystal does great coffee blends i really enjoy her coffee blends oh talk about strong coffee if you like a forward leaning coffee scent before all those other fruity things that go in with it this is the one I'd say for the pumpkin cupcake portion, I wouldn't say it's pumpkin. I would say it was like the spices that go in with the pumpkin, which just makes this even better because coffee and all those spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, all that jazz, really, really good. And I have really enjoyed this in the past as well. Apple Delight. This is apple cider donuts, baked apple pie, and pumpkin pecan waffles. This one's going to be a little bit on the gooey, gooier side for me. Yeah. Although I do appreciate the apple. It's very, very strong. Just like a lot of vendors, her wax is very strong. You don't need very much. This is a huge chunk of wax and you can probably at least get four, if not more, depending on your, what you prefer for strength and the size of your warmers and so on. But this is really good. Just a little strong for me, but that's okay. Twisted tree, twisted peppermint and Christmas tree. Well, that sounds delightful. Thank you. It's a huge snowflake too. Oh yeah, this is per it's exactly how she states. This is so big, so thick. You can probably get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight melts out of this if you want little small pieces, 100%. This is huge how thick that is. So um, Twisted Tree smells really good. I love anything peppermint and I love a Christmas, Christmas tree scent. It's perfect. Silver or Shiver with Fear, peppermint, rosemary, mint, and cotton candy. Ooh, I don't think I've tried this one either. Hmm. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh, this puts a smile on my face. I think it's especially rosemary, mint, and peppermint together. Cotton candy might be in the back, way in the back, uh, but it's definitely peppermint and rosemary, mint, and this is good. Again, you can get a lot of melts out of this if you wanted to, or if you just wanted to dunk it in one big old shot. That's a that's a big big hunk of wax, but. You can do that too. This is really good. Perfect for this time of year. Crisp and cozy blackberry, juniper berries, eucalyptus, and sage. Now, sage I'm not a fan of, but sometimes if it's really far back and I don't smell it, I'm okay with it. Okay, the blackberry saves the day on this one. And there's a little bit of eucalyptus and a little tiny bit of juniper breeze. Okay, I like this one. Sage, sage does not work well with my nose. <laughs> I don't agree. So the blackberry and the juniper berries and that tiny little bit of eucalyptus so it doesn't take it over has won me over on this one on cold. But of course, like always, I will get back to you guys on how I feel when it's warmed. Wicked Bliss Zucchini and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Sugar Cookies and Butter Brickle. Well, that does sound a bit sweet for me, but let's give it a shot. On the border of too sweet just on the border, but but I know so many people who love like that sweet, sweet smell. I don't mind this though. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pecan waffles from um, Bath and Body Works, therefore most of the vendors, 
because it is just too ooey gooey for me. But I feel like the sugar cookies, the butter brickle and zucchini kind of tone it down a little bit, which is saying something because you wouldn't think me saying butter brickle toned down pumpkin pecan waffles, but in my mind it does. <laughs> Snow Angel, this is strawberry and icy peppermint and cotton candy. Sounds delicious. Oh, and I love how many of their little stars in here, you guys. Oh, they're so cute. Let's see if I can get this better. Oh, that smells so good. So there are five, six, six little stars in here. Um, I get icy pe peppermint first, a little bit of strawberry, and, and then a little bit of the cotton candy as a sweetness. This is lovely. I love strawberry and peppermint. And, well, anything like blended with those two I'm in love with. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try as well. Ooh, pretty, pretty. This one says winter. And again, it's one of those really big snowflakes. This is described as blend of sparkling clementine, pine needles, essential oils, and notes of clove. So clementine being a, you know, a fairly close cousin to an orange. Ooh, why do I get smokiness from you? I think that the clove is giving it a real smoky edge to it. I def, mmm, this is intriguing. This is very intriguing. I am very excited to try this. I don't think I've smelled anything quite like this and that's in a good way. Um, and perfect for this time of year, we don't have our own fire. So it sort of reminds me of like a crackling fire a little bit with that clove. And then I get the pine needles and a bit of clementine or orange as well. We have another wizard. So there is a second one. Then we have sacred brew, vanilla bean, coffee, and Palo Santo. And I know Palo Santo is very popular with so many people. Not my favorite note on its own, but I don't mind it blended as long as it's in the back again uh, with other scents. It's good. Um, I don't get the Palo Santo as strong. So if you love Palo Santo and you can't get enough of it, I wouldn't say that that's the standout here. The standout is definitely coffee and then vanilla bean um, and Palo Santo in the back. But this would definitely be a melt that I would do like over the weekend because I'd love melting coffee like scents on the weekends. Ooh, strawberry pound cake and pumpkin pecan waffles. Again, like I said about the pumpkin pecan waffles, but let's see if the strawberry pound cake kind of help it out a little bit. Yeah, it totally does. Actually, I enjoy this. It actually gives me essence of like a zucchini bread with the blend of these between the strawberry pound cake and the pe pumpkin pecan waffles. This gives me a vibe of like a sweet zucchini bread with some like other scents like strawberry in it. So I'm kind of glad because the pumpkin pecan waffles, like I mentioned before, not my favorite. It's a favorite of many other people, but not my favorite, but I do enjoy this one. Feeling fall, cranberry woods and leaves type. So both types are from Bath and Body Works. Cranberry Woods is good. Ooh, it gives me cherry. <laughs> I don't know why. The cranberry, like the cranberry woods and the leaves type gives me like a bit of a cherry scent. Yeah, I pick up a tart cherry scent because I think it's because of the cranberry in the cranberry woods and in leaves type, there's a lot of like crisp apple in it. So maybe the combo between the two. I'm really enjoying that though. It smells delicious and perfect for this time of year as well. Down to our last two melts, folks. Next up, pumpkin firewood and bourbon butterscotch. Bourbon in anything? I love that smell. Oh, it's a bit ooey gooey for me. I don't know. That butterscotch is a, it's a bit, it's a bit zingy, but um, it's really nice. I wish I got a little bit more of the bourbon and pumpkin firewood, but it's okay because I'm, mean, again, I'm just a weird anomaly that most people love everything, everything. And I'm just like, you know, mm, mm. Then when the last but not least, we have sweet Amish bread and pumpkin and Starbucks coffee. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's really good. I really like that. So you guys, that was my Rainbow Melts sampler haul, like a mystery bag. So I did, like I said, this was this amount you saw is actually two mystery bags. Uh, worth so that's what I do again. I live internationally. I live in Canada So when I place an order to make the shipping worth it I make sure that I order a couple different um, Sets of things as long as we're allowed to all of crystal and rainbow melts information down below Please feel free to follow them on Facebook Instagram email them check their website out um, But the best way to be notified of what's going on I'd say is definitely for Facebook. Sometimes it just throws up mystery bags out of the blue It's like totally you don't even know it's coming, but it's there 
Um, definitely check them out. It's one of my top brands as I've said before and I'll say it again. Less is more with Rainbow Melt. And again, as always you guys, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.